Introducing iTrack, the only illuminated microcatheter designed for minimally invasive glaucoma surgery with ab interno canaloplasty. Before commencing treatment, prime the eye track with high molecular weight viscoelastic. Once fully primed, viscoelastic will ooze from its tip. Featuring an atraumatic tip and lubricious coating, eye track can be maneuvered past partially obstructed areas of the canal. While its illuminated tip can be continuously monitored during the procedure. The surgeon will sit temporal to the patient to create the keratome incision. A second incision, approximately two clock hours from the intended goniotomy site, is made with a 25 gauge or 27 gauge needle and directed towards the nasal angle. Next, the anterior chamber is inflated and pressurized with a cohesive viscoelastic. The eye track is then placed through the side port incision. Using the RPT all-in-one forceps, the surgeon will enter the anterior chamber through the keratome incision and traverse until the tip of the forceps reach the trabecular meshwork. Lightly score the most anterior pigmented portion of the meshwork with the RPT all-in-one forceps and gently pull down the lower flap to create a small goniotomy exposing the inner lumen of Schlem's canal. Place the eye track into Schlem's canal at a slight upward 15 degree approach using the RPT all-in-one forceps. Once intubated, the canal will be circumnavigated 360 degrees. During canal intubation, the eye track separates the herniations of the meshwork into the collector channels. It also breaks inner lumen adhesions and opens the stenotic segments of the canal. Once the eye track has navigated 360 degrees of Schlem's canal, it is slowly withdrawn. The technician will give approximately nine clicks of viscoelastic per quadrant with the visco injector, as instructed by the surgeon. This process of viscodilation separates the compressed tissue planes of the meshwork and triggers the withdrawal of herniated inner wall tissue from the collector channels. It also dilates and flushes the newly opened collector channels. Once the canal and distal system have been viscodilated, the eye track is removed and all residual viscoelastic is removed. 